Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. In this tutorial, I shall explain a little bit about a life-threatening disease is heart attack. So, this, this disease will be discussed under uh, in two parts, like in SSC level or O level students, those who are studying uh, transport in animals, you know that you have to study about blood, blood compositions and about heart and the function of heart and then after some cardiovascular disease. So you have studied about hypertension and now after hypertension, student of SSC level and O level, you know that you have to study about heart attack and even HSA student or L students, those who are studying about blood circulatory system, you know that you have to study some cardiovascular disease and among them, heart attack is one of them. So why this is important? You know that previously it was thought like this will happen with old age people but, but surprisingly nowadays we see that people of young age like 20 to 25 years and 30 years this who have same disease so that is why we must be concerned about this disease and we need to know a little bit about it so what is heart attack you know that it might say that myocardial infarction the other name is myocardial myocardial infarction infarction or you can say this is MI so MI or myocardial infarction or heart attack why it happens and what are the main reason of it so we will definitely discuss about some cause and some symptoms about it but we need to know first that why it will happen you know that in our heart, uh, definitely I, I already explained about heart, I already explained about the structure of human heart, the blood circulatory system already that is given in this playlist, you can see it, but right now you know that heart is a central pumping organ. So it pumps blood to the lungs and then after receiving the oxygenated blood, it circulates to the whole body. So it's a muscular organ. So this is a muscular, hollow, triangular shaped organ. So it's functioning without any rest. So for functioning that organ, it also need oxygen. And that oxygen is carried through in the heart wall that is coronary arteries. This is important. So this is coronary arteries. So these coronary arteries is carrying oxygen to the heart but the heart itself is a central pumping organ so when in the coronary artery you know that this is the artery wall and inside if a cholesterol cholesterol is is actually is cholesterol is post is uh, making a hard substance inside and it makes an obstacles with the blood flow from one side to another side so in this part those cells are there they won't have oxygen because we know that for the metabolic process or maintaining the physiological process inside the cells it needs oxygen so that oxygen will be carried through the blood but when this is plaque we say this is plaque when this sort of plaque made up of like cholesterols and some other cells and make some hardness inside that it prevents the regular blood flow from one side to another and thus the other part of the heart cells will not get oxygen and then it dies and this condition says the heart attack because they will not be functional as before because they, if, they, if they're not getting oxygen properly for the longer period of time then this life-threatening condition will arise and this is heart attack and this is myocardial infarction so simply i'm giving a very simple idea because i'm just explaining with the level of students of ssc level but those who are medical students and students of those who are really uh, good enough to know about it they will explain a little bit from the top level so i'm just in the primary level to discuss that what is 
hard enough so you know that if the atheromatic plaque or any sort of like hard substance inside the coronary arteries prevent the blood flow from one side to another side the other part of the cells will not get oxygen properly and thus it will be the life threatening conditions which is heart attack so what are the symptoms before going to say the symptoms we need to know that what are the causes of heart attack i hope students you might know it because it is regularly said and we somehow we know the cause you see number one cause is overweight nowadays you see that each and every single cause is interrelated because things are going on in a single human body so when a body is developing overweight because of other things you see that lifestyle modifications you see that eating unhealthy diets like oily foods biryani tehari kebab and if you see some sort of like junk foods like burger pizza some students may heart that i know that some of you love it but you know this is about your own health so not me it's a worldwide uh, common factor that eating unhealthy diet a lack of physical exercise which will lead you to to being overweight will lead you to this life threatening disease which is called heart attack so when uh, when we see something in front of our eyes we are aware of it but you know this things is happening we, we cannot see we, we actually cannot see things are invisible inside it's inside it's happening the cholesterols are playing games with us we are taking unhealthy foods we are doing we are doing like somehow we are not having a proper uh, chances of physical exercise thus day by day day by day doing these things is leading us here so when heart attack happens then we feel like well we, we needed to be very much conscious about it but somehow we are not conscious but some of you i know that you do some regular exercise you are doing a good healthy lifestyle and having good food but this is all about awareness this is all about uh, self motivation so you know the causes overweight blood cholesterol level you know about cholesterol that low density lipoprotein high density lipoprotein and a and tg or triglyceride so increased level of ldl or low density lipoprotein will increase the blood cholesterol level eating unhealthy diet lack of physical exercise and the rest of the things are sort of like a mental health which is really really important in in recent world these things are one of the more concern mental health people are having sadness anxiety and we are having much more depressions with our own life and you see that emotional strain so all these factors are working together and that is why some people is developing overweight is developing blood cholesterol level increasing level blood glucose level is is going on so that is why uh, and that is the cause that is leading a person now if you see the symptom of this disease you see that it will develop a discomfort pressure heaviness in the chest or or below the breastbone so when a, a person will feel a discomfort in the chest then it will radiate it will radiate to the back jaw throat arm so it will radiate in pain from the left side of the body to the other part sometimes to the neck and back and jaw so it will not decrease by taking antacid so simply you see that discomfort will will arise and pressure heaviness will be felt by the patient in the chest specifically in the left side and then it will radiate to the other part of the body sweating nausea vomiting choking feelings that means a feeling of heartburn is known as choking feelings extreme weakness anxiety you see the main thing is anxiety is the cause and also the symptom is a rapid and irregular heartburn so these are the symptoms of a patient that 
which is actually is developing heart attack. But you must know one thing that there is a differences between heart attack and stroke. Simply one thing that heart attack is, which is very similar, is arteries discomfort. Like inside, there is a plaque is developing inside heart that develops heart attack. But stroke will happen here in the brain. So these are the symptoms. So now what are the treatment and what are the diagnosis process? In case of diagnosis, in case of diagnosis, a cardiologist or a, 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 a medical treatment facilitator will definitely uh, think about the previous medical history and also also will look for some other things. So the diagnosis can be like uh, we can say that uh, ETT or exercise tolerance test number two is ECG echocardiogram. So even we can we can look for the blood cholesterol level, blood cholesterol level, and and some other things. But these three are the main. So for diagnosis, uh, this is very important that when a person will feel like this, that patient should directly. Uh, recommended to go to the hospital first. So ATT, exercise tolerance test, ECG or electrocardiogram or even blood cholesterol level checking that can be done for diagnosis. In case of remedy, in case of remedy, uh, we must know one thing that those are the cause we need to remove this. So you see the cause of the blood uh, uh, heart attack and if you just remove this part then that is the part of your remedy. I mean how we can actually uh, maintain a healthy lifestyle, proper regular exercise, eating good health, balanced diet and a tension free life though it's not actually true when this tension free life cannot be done actually nowadays but we actually can try. So what can be done? Quitting smoking is important. Alcohol and these other things should be should be uh, quitting. And maintaining good healthy lifestyle choosing your your uh, dish choosing your food is important wherever you are in which geographical area choose your best food and be hygienic and i hope that a, a little bit practice of physical exercise will give us uh, good vibrations in our own body and we will be feeling more energetic and in case of a treatment i think that a cardiologist will look for the medical uh, history before and then you know that uh, angioplasty can be done, uh, thrombolytic therapy can be done which is given just three hours. Uh, I mean it's a, it's a drug that is, uh, um, that is given to the patient for the first within, within three hours the first felt uh, chest pain and then this is called a thrombolytic therapy. Even bypass surgery can be done, opener surgery can be performed it depends on uh, the situations and the condition of a patient that will be definitely uh, considered and finalized by the team those who are taking part of this uh, OT. So the cardiologist will decide that what should be the uh, process of treatment and what are the diagnosis process, what should be the remedy for that specific patient because it depends a lot. So that's all a very short discussion about it. I'm just giving a primary level idea. You must think about the causes and if you just remove, uh, remove the causes that that would be the remedy of heart attack and these are the symptoms and you first think one thing that why this heart attack will create in our body. So this is a solve for, the, for now and I will definitely come up with another cardiovascular disease for the primary level discussions. So keep in touch with me and of course let me know your recommendations. I shall be there for your answers. Take care. Bye.